morning subscribers here we are again and the mornings are getting colder and so we need these workouts to get moving all right really good to see you we're going to do a cardio section and then i'm going to upload a movie which is strength which is really based around legs today so our cardio is going to really focus on the upper body as well so let's get ourselves warmed up and uh, just check that you're standing with your feet just about hip width apart and uh, th there's a soft bend in your knees you don't want to lock the knees out we lock the knees out and this starts to happen so your knees are soft but you're not squatting your weight is firmly into your heels and you're sinking down into that hip girdle you've pulled your lady bits up i'm saying lady bits because we're all ladies on this just just pulled them up they're just sort of switched on we know that something is happening tilt those hips forward and let's just roll those shoulders back just rolling leading with the elbows take some big breaths and let's roll those shoulders forward roll and roll roll and roll and then let's take an ear to the shoulder side to side and then let's look side to side checking that your weight is firmly into your heel everything is feeling like it's a little bit awake and then just to finish off the neck let's just roll the head across the top of the chest roll one ear to one shoulder just loosening up the top of the spine to my reckoning there's no better way just to loosen up those top vertebrae and to send some vital synovial fluids to bathe those joints ready for work let's just add some pec stretches so just keeping those elbows up weight is in your heels and opening out through the upper chest extend the arms so bent arm and extend the arm and now we're going to take this workout into the lower body and rotate through the, the core so feet are hip width apart and you're just going to slide the hands down the front of the legs Keep those hands in contact with the legs and you're just sliding down to the point where you feel those hamstrings nip. Keep the back flat. If you're rounding the back, put the hands onto your bottom, pushing into the heels. And as you come up, you are squeezing your bum cheeks. And up you come with a good tight squeeze on those glutes absolutely fantastic way of waking up and if you are a desk worker you can just do these on your little breaks if no one's watching because it does it does look odd I do agree but a great way of actually uh, waking up your glutes the biggest muscle in the body to help you bend and support your core rather than giving it all to your lower back and we're just going to take that down the front of the legs and reach out with the hands push into the heels return the hands and up we come so we're just adding some impact to that move down you go and up you come and then i'm going to invite you to go down and then walk the hands out until you are in that upper that high plank position and then bring a foot forward and take the foot back and bring the foot forward onto the opposite side and back into that plank and forward if this is too much you can rest that back knee on the floor and we're just opening out through those hips again another wonderful move to do on your rest breaks desk workers just keeping those hips mobile and now on the side that you've got your foot forward I want you to open up through the inside, taking your hand up and you look up to the sky. Return the hand to the floor, return to your plank position, 
bring the opposite foot forward and open out the chest. And so you're just going to swap through these moves, rotating through the chest, flexing, warming up, sink down into your hips, open out that chest as much as you can. Real good warm up. Real good warm up. Breathing, dropping that back leg down, pushing the hips as far as you can, checking that you've got that weight in your heels, and then walk the feet forward towards your hands. Grab hold of your feet, grab hold of your ankles, grab hold of your um, calves, and let's just extend the legs as you breathe, stretching through the whole of the back of the legs, through the whole of the butt and through the whole of the back as you let your head relax and breathe into that huge stretch. If you're just down here as far as your knees, that's fine. Just don't forget to keep breathing. Release the feet and curl up through the spine and let's roll the shoulders back. Okay, so our, our cardio is going to start now. I'm just going to have a, a glug of my coffee. It's very early in the morning. I've got a glass of water, I've got a mat and I've got weights. So we've got 30 seconds and we're going to do a side step and we are going to just Swing those arms from side to side. Classic 80s aerobics move. Let's go. So step and swing, keeping the elbows high. Pulling your belly button in towards your backbone and stepping as fast as you can. And breathing. Halfway through, step and step, step and step. Eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, roll those shoulders. Okay, so you've got that move. We're going to do this a second time. This time, you're just going to take that pace up. It might be that you can add a little hop if you don't worry about that impact on your knees. Otherwise, keep those elbows up. Keep the intensity going. Let's go. Three, two, one, and step. Keep the elbows high, keep your chin up, keep breathing. Side to side, swing those arms halfway through, feeling the weight. Pull your belly button into your backbone. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Marvellous, okay, I'm feeling my shoulders are warm. Now the invitation, if you want, is to take your weights. I've got two, two kilo weights. You might have a couple of tins of baked beans here. And the invitation is to step side to side and use your weights. Let's go side to side as fast as you can, keeping the elbows high and swinging those weights. Don't worry if it's not working out for you with the weights, you're halfway through. You could always just do this body weight, it's fine. Swing in those weights. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Whew. Well done, okay. So we're gonna carry on with those weights. So you're standing with your feet hip width apart. We're gonna do a bicep curl and an overhead press. And then bring those weights down with bent elbows and return to that bicep curl. Okay, let's go. So curl up and press. Drop, uncurl. Curl up and press. Drop, uncurl. So your elbows are shooting up to your waist and back down again, they're from the waist. Keep the elbows tight and connected with the waist. Don't forget to breathe. Check in with your feet position. In the heels. Fantastic, well done. 
give the shoulders a little roll. We're going to go again. And if you want to this time, you can just do some marching on the, on the spot with that move. Once you feel you've got the upper body rhythm, otherwise keep it static. Okay. Three, two, one, let's go. You could just do some marching bicep curls or march as you curl up and press and return. Bringing the knees forward and as high as you can. Chin up, breathing. Fantastic, roll those elbows. We're gonna go again on that move. Time to unzip the top and set up these moves. They do get the old heart rate going and they do get the, the sweat up. So maybe it's a jog with your bicep curls and a press. Maybe you're marching or maybe that move is static. Keep those elbows tight friends with your waist. Keep those knees coming forwards. And you're done, fantastic. Move number three is our old friend, the fire feet. Okay, this is where you pretend that the floor is made of red hot lava and you are gonna run as fast as you can. Keep the elbows away from the body, the knees coming forward and your legs are bent. Let's go. You'll feel the burn in your quads. Bring those knees forward. Fast as you can, don't give up. Breathing. Ooh. Feel that warmth in the quads. Feel that warmth in your glutes. So we're going to do two more sets of five feet, another minute of five feet to go. Keep breathing, keep the shoulders up, keep the pelvis tilted back, keep it on your feet with your knees, on your toes, knees bent. Let's go. Elbows away from the body. Shoot those knees forward. Sink your bottom back. Knees are bent. In fact, you could pick any of these moves as a little desk break in the week, just to energize and oxygenate and just activate your posterior chain, activating this part of the body that supports your lower back. Okay, let's go, last section of fire feet. Three, two, and one, let's go. I don't know about you, but my quads are on fire. Put your belly button into your backbone. Stay on those toes. Fast feet. You have got 10 seconds left starting now. Don't give up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Whew. Fizz, fizz, fizz. Okay, we're going to do steps and toe touches. Now this might feel like too much, so my might want to step and just touch to the opposite knee. So it's a side step and a knee touch, side step, toe touch. Let's go. Side step and reach. Lifting your feet, lifting your knees. You're halfway through. Keep breathing, keep reaching. You've got six seconds left. Three, two, and one. Fantastic. Whew, it's 
just starting to splish just a little bit here. We're going to do our side steps and our forward toe touches, forward knee touch. Maybe if you've been touching a knee, time to touch a shin bone. Let's go. Side step. Keep reaching. Keep breathing. Halfway. Last 10, let's go. Fabulous. Last set coming up. You're gonna feel absolutely brilliant after this workout. You know, what is it? It's 20 to eight in the morning. <clears throat> I could have rolled over and read me book. It's a right good old uh, gripping book, this. But I thought, nope. I'm going to get up and do this and already I'm feeling better. So come on, be with me on this. Toe touches, let's go. <sighs> Lift that feet. Come on, you've only got 30 seconds on this one. <sighs> you can do it. You've only got 20 seconds now. <sighs> reach and reach. Reaching for those knees. <sighs> Keep those arms moving. Six seconds are left. Let's go. Five, four three, two, and last one. Oh, well done. We are going to do a knee to the opposite elbow, so it's the same move. Really intensifying that crunch. You're using this zone to get those knees up to the opposite elbow. This can be done seated, sitting on the edge of your chair and bringing a knee up, or marching, or maybe you're going to jump this one. Bring that knee to the opposite elbow, crunching and reaching and knowing you can do it with 10 seconds left. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one. You've got it. Okay, we're going to go again. Bringing that knee up to your elbows crunching through the abs try and keep your shoulders back keep that breath going jog it or just walk it we'll go very slow i'm going to go slowly on this round slow the move down you can speed it up let's go bringing that knee up stepping wide regress that move to progress maybe progress on the fact that you can do the whole interval Maybe that you're bringing that knee up higher. Keep the shoulders back. Don't worry about speed. Read your own ability. You know if you can do more. You know if you need to do less. Three, two, one. Fantastic. So we've regressed that move. You felt that crunch. Now we're going to go for our last interval. Are you going to concentrate on ability? Are you going to concentrate on speed? The choice is yours. You know the move crossing that knee over the abs. Three, two, one, let's go. Take it up. Breathing all the way. Knee comes up, 10 seconds. Breathe through it, eight, seven. Here we are, five, four, three, two, and your last one. Well done, okay. We're gonna take it down to the floor now for some press-ups. Set your hands underneath your chest, uh, underneath your shoulders, and you can be on your knees or on your toes. And you're gonna keep that body really controlled as you sink the weight down. Take the chest to the floor if you want, and then push up into the hands. As you sink down, really be sure that the whole body is going with you. Have a flop on the floor, have a breather. Push up into the heels of the hands. What we don't want is this. That is not a press up. This is a press up. Your bottom goes with your shoulders. Have a rest and push up. 
That is a very good press up. If you want to, just concentrate on a body lower. Just concentrate on lowering the weight. Get to the floor, flop and set up. Go with me, I'm gonna show you now. We'll do a half a press up. Let's just concentrate, slow it down. Slow down, slow down. Keep it controlled as long as you can until you have to let your body go flop into the floor and then set up whichever way you need to, your shoulders above your hands and keep that controlled descent. Keep the elbows going back, 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 not out to the side. Control that work in your shoulders and reset. A press up is a devilish move. And we are done, okay. So you can either do a press up descent, you can do a press up to um, a reset and then push up into your hands. This is the other way, just work on the push up section. Take the knees back, set the hands up under your shoulders and we could just start from the bottom on a flop and then push your way up and then take yourself down for a flop and then push up. So you see, we can concentrate on all aspects of the press up just by breaking it down, regressing that move to progressing it so that you're doing proper press ups into your arms and your shoulders, supporting it by pulling your belly button into your backbone. And you've done one minute, 30 seconds of very good press ups. We're gonna do a crunch, so we'll roll over onto our back pushing the small of the back into the mat, tucking the chin into the chest, crossing the hand over the chest and pushing down with the belly button as this part of the body takes this move. Crunch and crunch, crunch and crunch. It might be a tiny move. Tuck your chin into your chest and keep pushing the small of the back into the mat and your belly button to meet your back. It might be that that move is even too hard for you. And what I've discovered is how can you train a muscle if you can't feel it? So lie there and tilting your pelvis, just pulling your belly button into your backbone for the whole of the interval will help you actually identify these abs and feel these abs so that you can start to train them. So let's just pull the belly button in towards the backbone or maybe you're crunching, just so that you can feel that muscle that you have tried training it. And breathing, how can we train something that we can't feel? Tuck the chin into the chest. Hopefully you're feeling those abs and you're not feeling any neck. Chin tucked in. Push down with that belly button. Oh, we've got one last section to go. You are both feeling it here. Maybe there's a certain sicky feeling. That's your lactic burn. That's you you're pulling on your energy to, uh, to, to make the movement, to, to work those muscles. So let's do a good setup. Tuck the chin in. Yeah. And then pull. It's a tiny pulse. And it takes your breath away if you're doing it right. Breathe. Nothing massive on this move. Relax your shoulders. This is the part of you that's working. Fantastic. Okay, we're going to roll over onto the front and we're going to do a mountain climber. I'm going to take a chair so that we can do a chair-based mountain climber. And again, this is a wonderful one, you desk workers. Periodically, turn around from your desk and just drop a very quick mountain climber with your hands underneath your shoulders and bringing your knee up to your chest. Let's go. Keep that weight coming forward and you're bringing that knee up to the chest. Sprint it if you want or just mark it carefully shooting those feet back as far as you can so that you really are supporting your whole body through your abs, pulling your belly button into your backbone. Doing really well, bringing those knees up, fantastic. 
have a little rest. So continue to do your mountain climbers on your chair, or maybe you are a floor mountain climber. So again, the setup is the same. You've got your hands underneath your shoulders. Even if you're mountain climbing from a kneeling position, you can still bring those knees up to the chest or from the toes as fast as you want. Don't forget to breathe. Bring those knees right up. 10 seconds left. Four, three, two, and one. Whew, these are tough today. Roll the shoulders. We're gonna go for our last set. This is the endurance bit. This is the one that you don't want to do. This is the bit where you call on your technique. You're gonna really grip that mat with your fingers. You're gonna breathe. You're gonna keep your spine neutral by not tucking your head down. And you're gonna to get to the end of that interval. Let's go. It's only 30 seconds. It's not even that now. Great move. Breathe it. 10 seconds. You can do it. Don't give up. Three, two, and one. So now we are in the right position to take our weight down onto the floor. Your feet and your legs are connected with the floor and we're gonna push our belly button down as we do a Superman. So you're gonna lift up by pushing your belly button to the floor. Lift and lift. Lifting up. Feeling a squeeze in your bottom as you lift. Keeping your elbows high, pushing down with those abs. Breathing and breathing. Feeling that tightening in the glutes, fantastic, well done. So we're gonna do that now. If you want to, take those arms even more forward. Okay, so that your arms are straight. These are supermans. So pretend that you're flying across New York, pushing your belly button down to the floor and feeling that tightening in your glutes. Let's go. We're nearly there, guys. Check that your bottom's got this one by pushing your belly button to the floor. Keep those elbows high, keep breathing. And on this last one, you can keep those arms bent. You can keep those arms extended. And if you want to, you can reach back and squeeze those shoulder blades together. As you exhale, you can return and recover, or you can keep the whole move engaged by pushing your belly button down and checking that your bottom has got this, not your lower back. Squeezing those shoulder blades together and breathing. Squeeze and breathe. Squeeze. Exhale as you squeeze. Fantastic. And last we're going to do a plank. Okay, just get me a drink. So you're gonna set yourself up in a plank, whether it's a plank on your knees, a plank on your elbows, a plank on your elbows and your knees, a plank on your elbows and your toes. 30 seconds, let's hold that plank. Breathing and breathing. You want a straight line from the top of your head to your tailbone and right down the backs of your legs right down to your heels because you're pulling your belly button into your backbone glutes are tight bum cheek cheeks are squeezed two one fantastic 
Okay, if you want to, you can modify that plank and you can take it up, up, up onto your hands, pushing into the heels of the hands and it's a raised plank. Okay, the wider you have your legs, the easier it'll be. Bring your legs in, it'll be tougher. Let's go. Hold tight and squeeze. Pulling your belly button in, you can feel that work. Push into the heels of the hands. Fantastic. And the last one I'm going to offer is either the same as you've been doing, so stick at those planks, or if you want to add something, you are going to reach forward from that plank position to touch your glass of water or your weight or your, your, your sweat cloth or whatever you've got, okay? So let's have a little go at just destabilizing your plank to reach forward. Otherwise, hold that plank nice and firm. Don't forget, the wider your feet, the more support you've got. The narrower your feet, the more your core will have to work. Minimize that hip rock. Squeezing up with your abs, keeping your bum cheeks tight, returning those hands underneath your shoulders. And you're done. That, my friends, is your hip. Give yourselves a round of applause, have a drink, and let's get set up for strength.